Hey, what's up, guys? Know from Kicking Their Bass TV. I'm here on Lake Hartwell. First time out here with Rick Stickleberg, owner of Swarming Hornet Lures. Um, I'm gonna try a new swim bait out. See if we can get a good bite. Um, see what we can get out here. Um, I don't know if the sun's gonna peak yet. A little cloudy out. Um, not windy at all. And um, we'll get back to you with some fish. How you guys? Drop shot fish. Good one. Okay, let's tug in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that, baby. He'd do in a tournament. He'd be a he'd be something you wanna put in the box but hopefully you would uh, get rid of by the end of the day. Alright guys got a fish on the drop out. Yeah. Rick's got a good one on a drop shot. Oh, That's called a red spot disease. It's just a fungus that grows whenever the fish get a little bit um, tired from spawning. Once they get back out here and get fed up and get their immune system back, um, unless they get caught in a tournament and take a ride in a live well that has depleted oxygen, this fish right here, all these red spots that you see right here, it's pretty common among spots. Sometimes largemouth get it, but not, not to the point to where it gets to where this right here is. Uh, but that's a solid three, three and a half pound fish. Definitely, I'd like to have had him. Both of you hold them together. There you go. Big, big spot, man. <laughs> Drop shot. Here's the fish, guys. It's a release. It's a fat one. Come on, give us another one. Come on, give us another one. Come on, give us one. Give us one. Come on, don't just go down. Give us one. Come on. Oh, oh. Another good spot. Is big. You're sucking up. God. Oh, that's a good headshot. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. Yeah. 
spot disease right there. He's healing from his red spot disease. So this must have been an early spawner. You can see on his fins, you can see where his tail's all nice and neat. His fins are good. Most generally when they come out of uh, come out of a spawn, they've got a lot of tail activity where you can see that it's bleeding. That other one that I caught had some red still right here, so he was he was getting there. Um, he's been laying on the bottom. It almost looks like a kiwi fish. Some more them fish at kiwi, they'll get so close to the bottom. When you catch them, they'll actually have a red bottom. But that spot disease right there is almost healed. So about two and a half. I'd like to have him last night too. Right, there you go. Let's take another picture of him. Yeah. Um, there's a fish, guys. There's a release. You turned it on, didn't you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, I thought being a slickster. Where's that catfish? Nah, look at that. He got him about a foot and a half, three pounds in there. On the electric man, huh? I don't know if you'll be able to lift him. You'll break him off. Don't know. Please don't get the head out. Fat one. Oh, 
Let me help you, First man. of all. Yeah, you worm out right there. You got yeah, it. Yeah. You place your worm. There you go. There's a fish right there. Stand over here. Get that one. <laughs> I don't know the sun's in it. Fish. It's a nice one. Hey guys, it's from Kicking Their Bass TV. And um, today, me and Rich Stickleberg and my dad went out on Lake Hartwell. He took us out. Um, had a really good time. Caught about 25 to 30 fish and some good sized ones too. Some large mouths, some spots. Big fish. Um, He's gonna show us some of his new products. Um, we caught most of our fish on a drop shot. It's one of the Hornet lures. Um, his new swim bait coming out, fish head spin, and many others. Um, he's gonna show us some of his new products and um, currently what he has right now. Hi, I'm Rick Steckelberg. Thanks for watching Kicking Their Bass TV. Uh, today we went out, we've done a little bit of exploring, we've done a little bit of uh, swim jig fishing. We actually went in the back of some pockets and had some grass and we was actually throwing the new uh, Swarming Hornet swim, uh, swim jig and we was actually throwing a, uh, a bluegill color that uh, we, I think we've made pretty nice looking. It's pretty got a lot of detail. You just put your uh, twin tail trailer or single tail grub on the back. It's got a keeper. Uh, real good. We've actually got a, a shad color and we've got uh, two more colors as well. We got a black and blue and a green pumpkin, which is you know pretty much the colors of the spectrum. Uh, we also was throwing the fish head spin, uh, which is uh, a staple of, of, of mine and the and swarming hornet lures. Um, everybody I think that's uh, watching probably knows what a fish head spin is. Um, it's, it's, it's my design that looks like a fish's head that you put any type of soft plastic bait on. Uh, we was actually using a uh, reaction elevation skinny dipper today, uh, but you can use the same super fluke, uh, Lunker City finesse fish, uh, Berkeley gulp shad, uh, or a reaction elevation skinny dipper. And also today we uh, we tried out um, my new uh, swarming hornet bite size herring. Uh, it's coming out probably in the next week. I've got a bunch of them made. I've just got to get them painted up, uh, make sure they're weighted right, get the right uh, get the right colors on them. They're going to come in three uh, three colors. Uh, these are the colors that they are right now. Uh, we've got one that's a blue back herring color. This one right here has already been uh, eat on, scratched on, and everything else. So that that's one of them. That's blue back herring. Then of course the tried and true, just pearl white. Uh, and also we've got one that's a gizzard shad. It's got a little bit of purple across the back, a little bit of green across the back. Um, right now I've just got them in a, uh, a fast sink. Uh, I am working on a slow sink, something that will actually float. Um, but as for right now, uh, that's what we was doing today. And uh, we was also throwing a fluke across the points and across the brush piles to try to get them up. The, uh, it was a little bit calm today. There, there was not a whole lot of wind until the afternoon. And once the afternoon got up, people uh, started getting uh, running around a lot and it was a little bit harder to get on the stuff we just want to fish. But uh, for the most part, we had a good day. Um, I think on average, we probably had probably our best five quiz in a term. It probably would have been the high 14s, low 15s. We just needed that one five, five pounder to get us up there around that uh, 17 pound mark. Um, but for the most part, um, we had a, a decent day. Um, we, uh, it, it was very hot today, uh, so if you, uh, if you go out and it's above 90 something degrees outside, be sure to wear your sunscreen, it'll save you life. Alright guys, thanks for watching.